Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 11th of October 2018 and the time has just gone 12.08 for December time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Hang Seng, or as we call it on our platform, the Hong Kong 50. Uh, the big picture is that the market has been broadly moving lower throughout 2018 and if you take a bit of a closer look we can see that since about, uh, since about May uh, the Hang Seng has been a classic example of a downward trend a series of lower lows and lower highs. In fact, today it actually fell back to a level not seen since May 2017. So give you an indication of how bearish sentiment is on the particular market. Now, taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram down here, we can see that as the market has been pushing lower, there's been a steady increase in negative momentum. So the MACD indicator confirms uh, the, the downward move that we're seeing in the, on the market itself. So essentially, the momentum is with the sellers at the moment. If we do continue to drive lower from here, we could look at taking out 25,000. And if we go south of 25,000, the next level to keep an eye out for will be this area here, which comes into play at 24,334. Like I was saying, it's a level not seen since the early May uh, 2017. Uh, if we do see any kind of pushes higher uh, in, in the market, uh, resistance may come into play in around this area here, 27,000. It's a big psychological number, so it could be an area of potential resistance. Uh, notice how we have a series of uh, lower lows and lower highs. So if we do have, a, have another have a, have a size of a bounce back, 27,000 could be an area potentially uh, of, of resistance. If you do head above north of 27,000, the next area to keep an eye out for will be this area here, uh, the late high of September, which comes into play just north of 28,000, uh, 28,030. That was the September high. And if we go beyond that, we could be looking at up, up towards the August high, which comes into play at 28,583. And if you take off that, then we the entire kind of recent downward trend could then be kind of causing into consideration and if we go north of that uh, of the uh, of the august high we could really get heading back to the july high uh, which comes into play just north of 29,000 uh comes into play at 29,500 sorry 29,053 if you are going to be trading the hang Seng, please keep in mind overnight uh china have trade figures out and this is going to be important because there's obviously quite a negative trading relationship between the U.S. and China at the moment. If there's any indications that uh, China continues, that that um, trade surplus that China has with the U.S. continues to widen, or, or President Trump feels that China continues to can take advantage of the current trading relationship that they have, we could have additional fears about uh, potentially new tariffs being announced from President Trump. Um, before I go, uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of other other videos we've made here at CMC Markets please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.